Well, Tundi is awake and the little one is all over the place and the reason why is because there's Kudu's alarm calling very close by and so I don't know if maybe there's another leopard that is coming this direction but they're shouting, I would say maybe about three, four hundred meters from us on our eastern side and Tundi immediately stood up and has been looking in that direction so I don't know if maybe another leopard is on its way here or maybe there's lions, there are lion tracks around here, who knows what's going on but how spectacular is this sighting of the two of them lying in the most amazing light and that little one has been up and down and has been just like her mom in a lot of ways and she, let's see look, I think she might go to mom let's see there it comes coming down the tree how beautiful is this this is absolutely spectacular careful little one don't fall now you got to be careful there's hyenas around shame she wants to go to mom but doesn't quite know how to get maybe go all the way down little one we don't want you falling although if she did fall Tundi would be down that tree like an absolute rocket to try and kind of keep that little one as safe as possible so I think she will make sure that it is safe which is good news how cute is that though it is very very cute there we go well done little one and you're going to go up all the way to mom here we go that is spectacular wow we are being absolutely spoiled this morning that's for sure Well, very good morning everybody and welcome to those of you that have just joined us on this live safari action broadcast. As you can see, we have the beautiful leopards this morning and not just one but two and it's a mother with her tiny cub and they're up in a tree at the moment and it is just one of the most beautiful sightings. The little cub is being very playful and is going up and down to mom and is rubbing up on her and just trying to kind of greet her as much as is possible. But it is very, very, very good to see these two and the sun is at a perfect angle so it is just absolutely perfect now this is a live interactive experience which means that you can ask questions so just post your questions in the comment sections below and we will try and answer as many as possible my name is Tristan and on camera today I've got Senzo there we go there's Senzo's three fingers and these leopards like I say is a mother and a cub and they've actually got two kills at the moment they've got a water buck kill which is the one just to the the closest one to them you can see the legs dangling over and then to the right of that she's managed to kill another animal which is called a diker so both of those are antelope species that one is a very small antelope that we get out here much smaller than a deer and then the one to the left is more along the lines of a deer size except that this is a little baby that it's killed and she's now put up in the tree and so they've been here for the last couple days but it's just they are putting on an absolute show this morning it is really very spectacular Spectacular. Kalina, you say hello from California. Well, a very warm hello to you, and I hope that you're having a wonderful day and that you will enjoy the cuteness overload that is this little cub. It is really one of the most special little things that we have out here. I absolutely love spending time with this little one, and so I hope that you are loving it as well. Now, the interesting thing is that we're sitting here and we can hear that there are some alarm calls also close by, so I wonder if there's not another leopard that might be coming, or maybe lions. We did have tracks for lions very close to here, and so we could get a situation where they arrive as well so it's going to be interesting to see how this all plays out wingnut you're wondering if cubs fall out of trees because they're so high up well yes they can fall out of trees you have a situation when they are still very young they have to learn to climb and so it takes them about three months to be able to climb effectively and, and to be able to do it properly and so what you find with this little one is it's still learning a little bit it's still trying to work out exactly how to do everything so every now and then you'll see it's a bit unsteady and it'll slip a little bit but the thing about a leopard is that it's got incredibly sharp claws that it'll be able to dig in and just hold itself there and particularly with the cub it's got massive feet already for its age and so those club or those claws will dig in and it will be able to just hold itself there because it doesn't weigh too much just yet so they do climb very well but it, it takes a bit of time to learn it and so they do fall out in the first few months when they are learning but once they got it down and once they get to about four or five months old then very seldom will they fall out how amazing is this this is so so good so Ellen 
you're wondering if another leopard approached, would Tandi take the cub away from this tree and put it in another tree and keep it safe away from the kill to protect it from this other leopard that would more than likely be going towards the kill? Well, not necessarily. It depends on which leopard arrives here. So if it's the dominant male, Tingana, that comes here, then Tandi probably won't do too much because, well, Tingana is the father as, as far as we know of this little cub and, and at some point they're going to bump into him and he needs to know that there's a cub and, and, and kind of see what happens. She'll probably hiss and growl and, and get between him and the cub, but she won't be too sort of phased by having to move it. If it's a different leopard, so another female or another um, male, then she's going to be very defensive and what she'll do is she'll run and confront that leopard and try and stand off and allow the cub to get right up into the tops of the trees. So the cub is now sitting on a really nice branch, but right in the tops of the tree here is very small branches. And so that little cub can go and sit on the smallest of the small and that male leopard would not be able to get anywhere near or female leopard for that matter. They'd just be too heavy to get to where the cub is. So that's what would more likely happen is the cub goes right up into the top and then Tundi comes down and meets whatever threat there is right down on the ground. Laura, are you wondering if I think this cub has ever seen lions? Uh, Laura, I'm not sure. I don't think so, actually, to be honest. I think it's a situation where this little cub has probably not, although there was tracks for lions very close to where this carcass is and where the sighting is, and so maybe she saw lions for the first time last night. I don't know. But we certainly haven't seen her in a sighting with lions. Um, it's very, very dangerous for her to have lions around because, well, lions can climb trees and can get up to a tree like this. It would be really quite some well they would be able to get in there and that cub would be in a lot of danger so hopefully she doesn't see too many lions for a while still now there is a hyena that's busy lurking around here and it's why both of them are in the tree they're somewhere down below they're sleeping in and it's very difficult to actually see them senzo can you see them oh there we go there's our hyena you can just see it spotted back in amongst the vegetation so it's sitting patiently waiting and so this poses a threat to this cub as well so not only lions but the hyenas too and it's why they'll both be up in the trees just to stay out of the way of that hyena but that hyena is just being patient and waiting for scraps of of this carcass to drop and you'll find when there's a young cub involved often hyenas well the carcass does drop and the hyenas then rewarded for their patience and sitting and waiting now you can see Tandi has gone back to sleep now so she's not too fussed by whatever was around she's obviously realized that maybe it's not coming in this direction and she's going to start having a bit more of a nap again and just taking it very easy but that cub is as cute as cute can be So, Kristen, you're wondering how other leopards and lions would know that there is a kill here and that there are leopards here. Well, there's two reasons. One is that it's a visual thing. From where she's sitting, remember, she's much higher up, and so any animal that's walking around could probably spot her from up there. It's how we found her, as we spotted her from a long, long way away, it's up in the tree, and so it's easy to see her up in the tree. The other thing is that there is a scent that is left behind by a carcass. So as it starts to rot, this meat is obviously not being refrigerated or anything like that, and so there's a situation with the hot African sun that you find that the, the carcass starts to smell and that then attracts things like hyenas and lions and, and leopards and so that's how they find her in these trees but a lot of it will be by sight right well our little cub i think is looking for a place to settle down and to try and maybe have a little bit of a rest it's busy watching the hyena at the moment and i think it's probably going to be time for us to say goodbye to all of you but don't forget that we do do safaris twice a day for three hours on wildsafarilive.com and so it'd be lovely to catch up with you there and we, if anything happens and another leopard arrives or lions we certainly will go on to another action broadcast from myself and senzo it's been a great pleasure and we'll see you all very soon